good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Depending on where you are in this world, God bless you. This is Gloria White, coming to you from Utah, USA. Today we're going to continue in the book of Isaiah, and we are in chapter 8. And I was almost done with the book of the chapter when I noticed I had food on my face. <laughs> so this is take 2, actually now take 3. Moreover, the Lord said unto me, Take thee a great scroll, a roll, and write it in a man's pen concerning Maher Shal Ahazbaz. And I took unto me faithful witnesses to record. He took Uriah the priest and Zechariah the son of Jabur e Chiah. And I went unto the prophetess, and she conceived and bare a son. Then said the Lord to me, Call his name Maher Shal Ahazbaz. For before the child should have knowledge to cry, My father and my mother, the riches of Damascus and the spoil of Samaria, shall be taken away from before the king of Assyria. The Lord spake also unto me again, saying, For as much as this people refuseth the waters of Shiloh, that go softly, and rejoice in reason, and Remaliah's son. Now therefore, behold, the Lord bringeth up upon them the waters of the river, strong and many, even the king of Assyria, and all his glory, and he shall come up over all his channels, and go over all his banks, and he shall pass through Judah, he shall overflow and go over. He shall reach even to the neck and to the stretching out of his wings shall fill the breadth of thy land, O Emmanuel, or what, which is translated, as you know, God with us. But here the Emmanuel is, it starts with an I instead of an E. Verse 9, associate or be scattered, your, scatter yourselves. O ye people, and be and ye shall be broken in pieces, and give ear, all ye of far countries, gird yourselves, and ye, but ye shall be broken in pieces, gird yourselves, and ye shall be broken in pieces. He said that twice. Take counsel together, and it shall come to naught. Speak the word, and it shall not stand. For God is with us. For the Lord spake thus to me with a strong hand or a mighty power and instructed me that I should not walk in the way of this people, saying, Say ye not a confederacy or a conspiracy to all them to whom this people shall say a confederacy. Neither fear ye their fear, nor be afraid. Or be afraid is in dread. Don't dread. Don't dread them. And then he says, Sanctify or hallow the Lord of hosts himself, and let him be your fear, and let him be your dread. And here in verse 14 is an unfulfilled prophecy. And he shall be for a sanctuary, or a holy abode, for but for a stone of stumbling, and for a rock of offense, or a stumbling over to both the houses of Israel, for a gin, a trap, and for a snare to the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And many among them shall stumble, and fall, and be broken, and be snared, and be taken, or be taken captive. Bind up the testimony. Seal the law among the disciples. And I will wait upon the Lord. That hideth his face from the house of Jacob. And I will look for him. Now here in verse 18. Is an unfulfilled prophecy. Which says. Behold. I am the children. Whom the Lord hath given me. Or for signs and for wonders in Israel. From the Lord of hosts. 
which dwelleth in Mount Zion. And when they shall say unto you, Seek unto them that have familiar spirits, or mediums, and unto wizards that peep, or whisper, and that mutter, should not a people seek unto their God? And for the living to the dead, it says here in the translation, then the dead in behalf of the living. To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it shall be because there is no light in them. And they shall pass through it hardly or hard pressed and hungry. And it shall come to pass that when they shall be hungry, they shall fret or be enraged themselves and curse or curse by their king and their God, uppercase G, and look upward. And they shall look unto the earth and behold trouble in darkness, dimness or gloom of anguish, and they shall be driven to darkness. Wow. But here, he has hooked Isaiah up with a prophetess, and he's using each of the children that are born as a prophetic message. Very interesting how he's doing this. Very interesting. And, and as always, <laughs> I love you.